I, I, you know, I thought we played pretty well today. Uh, we had lots of opportunity. I thought we squandered a four-minute power play where we didn't score. I thought Anderson made some great saves, and then, and then they scored a couple ugly goals. The last goal, the third goal. Line the third change. goal was a line change, but it was a line change where you know we had two guys coming off and they caught us on a three on two. Uh, you know, and looking back at it, maybe the D didn't understand it was a three on two. Maybe he didn't see the line change. But we can't be jumping out at the wall, and, and uh, you know that was the game. And saying that though, you're up to nothing in your building. You're on the power play. We got through the kill to start the third period. You know, you're always worried about that. Hey, if they get one here. They can get some momentum. We, we did a good job on that, got through the kill there, and then I thought we're doing just fine. And next thing you know, he turned the puck over outside our blue line. And they, I don't even know if he, they got a chance, but they shot it and they went in the net, and there's the momentum. Mike, that's their second uh, road win, back to back, another one in Montreal, and then come here. What do you see about this team that's made them special early on here? Well, I think they're getting outstanding goaltending. Uh, I really thought Anderson tonight, especially early, just uh, held the door for them, did a good job. And then, you know, I thought once they got going, their kids got excited and played well. Stastny's a real good player in that, you know, he's basically got about 200 points in, in 200 games in the league. He might be the quietest 200 points in the league that way. Uh, I really thought the Duchesne kid, uh, uh, you know, he scored a goal from, the, you know, I didn't like the goal, but he still scored one and had some tempo to him. But uh, I thought the O'Reilly kid played good for him as well. And so when you look at their group down the middle, uh, they got a bunch of kids there that uh, are going to be a bright future for them. You say that the guys played well here tonight, but uh, they didn't stop. Did, was there any sense that you felt the slipping away late in the third or any well, desperation you, know, you felt? I just felt that it was one of those games that you, you have everything going your way, you should bury them. We didn't bury him. We 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 let him stay in the game, and instead of putting a knife in him, in the end, it came back to haunt us. And it's a point that uh, we let get away that we should never let it at home. And the other thing you you don't want to do is when you're playing a team the first time, is you don't want them to think they can beat you. I mean, in the early going, they didn't even touch the puck. So it was one of those nights that you look back and you and uh, you don't like. Oh, is there it's a, it's yeah. unusual, obviously, for this team. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't know about the stat turnovers. I didn't think we did that bad a job tonight, and yet, in saying that, their third goal, or the, sorry, their first goal is a turnover. We have the puck. They strip us off it. And, and so, anyway, you look at it, uh, that's a goal you'd like to have back. Obviously, one of the positive sides, you have to like the Phil line and the... Uh, they consider it. Well, I well. said that. I've said that every game. I thought Phil was flying tonight. I really did. I thought he exceptional speed. It was floating out there. We had a lot of guys that did some good things for us, and then uh, you know it's unfortunate uh, things didn't go the way we wanted. See you guys. Thanks. Thanks.